going guys moose 78 back at you with some more american truck simulator this is my ats let's play series stories from the road upload this every tuesday and thursday hope you guys are doing well today by the way we are here in phoenix getting ready to pick up a load here at walbert and we are on the 1.4 open beta and one cool feature with the open beta we'll take a look at that right now actually freight market here and you see all these uh, gear icons next to the trailers well what that is if you guys don't know already which I'm sure most of you guys do is we basically have trailer ownership in the game so you see the default option for uh, this load of frozen vegetables is the utility 3000 R but if I wanted to I could choose uh, the spread axle here and uh, I could haul that if I wanted to but I'm going to stick with the Utility 3000R. We'll take that and we are going over to Fresno, California. 35,000 pounds on the nose. So that'll do good for us. We are right there. Get turned around here, get backed up, hooked up, and get on the road. there on the first try we'll see how about here and take a look I don't know why it's been giving me fits trying to get everything all attached We of course are in one of the new Western Stars that was recently released to the community. This is the 4900 FA that is out on the Steam Workshop. I've done a little bit of modifications to it, not much. Uh, messed with the sounds a little bit, changed the engine brake sound, and I added the cab extenders to the Stratosphere Sleeper. I just like the way the cab extenders look. Uh, I think to me it kind of completes the truck. I know a lot of guys don't like them, but uh, I kind of like them. But really loving this truck overall, you know, thanks to the team that uh, worked on this and, you know, thanks for sharing this with the community. Really enjoying this truck. Uh, I've not really had the opportunity, well, I've not had the opportunity to drive a Western Star, uh, of course, an ATS or Holland. So really looking forward to uh, driving this. This is kind of, uh, this is going to be the daily driver here for a little bit. We're all hooked up. Good to go. Start heading to Fresno. Make sure there's nothing coming. I'll wait for that truck, I guess. that though good and instead of kind of zigzagging through the uh, neighborhood here we're just gonna go up and grab it up here grab our turn I grind some gears. Good 
that way, so here we go. Now, if you guys use the uh, MHA map, there is one thing you have to do to get that compatible with the 1.4 open beta. And that you just have to delete one file, and I will put the link to that uh, in the description down below. Alex over there uh, on his site has the instructions on how to do that. You just got to delete the uh, manifest.sii file, and uh, then you're good to go. But uh, when I first uh, loaded up the 1.4 beta, was not able to use the MHA map. That just sounds good. This is the intersection from hell right here. Hopefully they can fix uh, and address stuff like this in the map rescale. The only other file, back to the uh, beta and files and all that good stuff, the only other files I had to uh, take out, or the only files that I had to take out were the uh, sound fixes pack. Took those out, game's been running no problem since. SKRS didn't have any issues with the uh, open beta, so pretty excited about that. I don't know why it would have any problems with the beta, but... And just some of the other features, and I'm sure you guys have seen them, but uh, you can telescope and tilt your wheel now. Uh, can't do it on this because uh, this was done before. This truck was done before the 1.4 open beta was launched. But uh, that's one of those features where, you know, mileage is going to vary. last Thursday's upload. I don't know what was going on, if it was the Windows update or what, but it was having all sorts of issues. It seems like whenever uh, there's a big Windows update, I just have issues with this game. Uh, not so much the game, but uh, some of the hardware. Like uh, Track IR was not working at all. Thought the camera might have broke or something like that. I was starting to freak out a little bit because you know it's not really you know my unit's not all that old. Ended up just had to uh, manually install the drivers and it's uh, good to go back to back to a good working order. And then I don't know if this is an Nvidia driver issue, if it's an issue with my uh, inspector profile. Set here about 65. There we go. But it seems like whenever I jump out of the interior view, the game just gets a little bit dark sometimes. 
not sure why that is. It's like anytime I go to uh, camera two, actually. See, so yeah, everything just kind of looks looks dark there. Not not really sure why that is. And this this engine sound. Uh, this is Creechin Bombs uh, M14 sound, and this thing just sounds amazing. You see, once we get back in the truck, everything looks fine. So I don't know what's going on with that. Could be a driver issue. Could be something. Uh, one of the settings in my NVIDIA Inspector profile. Not quite sure. Almost wonder if I should have stopped there. Yeah, I think they could be okay for just a little bit longer. I still haven't forgot about. No, I, have, I know I still have a couple people asking me about uh, video settings and all that stuff. I want to try to get a video done maybe this week on uh, you know how I get my graphic settings and all that good stuff. So I'd like to do just a quick tutorial on you know how how to set up a uh, NVIDIA inspector. And uh, how it might be able to improve uh, your graphic performance in game and uh, make the game just look a little bit better. And I will say one thing though, it, it's not really gonna give you more FPS, but it is gonna make the game look a little bit better. So if you're getting good frame rates, but uh, not really, if you're getting jaggies and all that stuff, you know, you'll lose some FPS, but uh, it will get rid of the jaggies and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just digging this Western Star, though. Really love the engine sound. Sounds great. Jake brake sounds great. Air horn sounds good. Now I just need to get uh, some logos and all that stuff on it. More to come on that. Hopefully, uh, it won't be Thursday's episode because I'm going to record uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays all in uh, one shot here today. But uh, hopefully next week I'll have a have a skin on it, custom skin, uh, just with uh, company logos and all that stuff. So be on the lookout for that. With the 1.4 open beta, of course, uh, reset us. I think the last episode that I uploaded, we were up in northern Arizona. I'm actually going to stop and get a quick break in here. Yeah, I'm going to come in like a bat out of hell. Son of a gun. Tell I have not played for a while. Just a little bit rusty. We top off the tank real quick, and I'm looking down there at the route advisor, and we're about looks like to me about 75% in the blue. So, so we're gonna get parked real quick. Get it back and low. hitting me. Got my turn signals on, so I think you should stop. There we 
we go. Quick screenshot. I just love the way this truck looks. Really sharp, clean. Just love it. Shut our engine off. Am I not? up to there we go that's what I was looking for now we'll get a little bit of nighttime driving in Turned off the secondary lights just because of the uh, performance hit. And it was killing my FPS every time I turned my lights on. So that way, this keeps me around that 60 mark or above. But yeah, before we. Uh, Hopped into the gas station here and took our break. Uh, put the 1.4 open beta, of course, uh, reset, and uh, put me back in my home base. So we didn't get to finish that run up there in northern Nevada, or uh, northern Arizona, sorry. But uh, also took a whole bunch of mods out, just stuff that I hadn't used forever. So I will get the uh, mod sheet updated. Really, a whole lot of new stuff other than the uh, Western Star here. I don't think I really got any new trailers or anything like that. Oops. Yeah, that router visor is uh, pretty slick. I like how uh, the background is transparent, so it doesn't really, it's not too obstructive.
pulls pretty good. Cool if the AI trucks, when uh, you merged over in front of them, kind of flash the lights to let you know it's okay to merge back into the lane. Yeah, things have been going pretty good here lately. Can't really complain. Of course, he'll uh, play a lot of the B-Up 4. Doing a lot of pubs, uh, a lot of scrims. Uh, then, of course, we are in full swing of the Champions Combat Series. Uh, we are getting ready to go into Week 2. Shit. What the hell was all that about? Woo! Yeah, I was just gonna say, man, I was just loving this SKRS. And then the next thing I know, I got, you know, two stinking cars stopped right there on the on ramp. scurry. A little bit scary there. But I think we're getting close to the destination. Let's take a look here real quick. Uh, well, no, I guess not. I guess we got a little bit to go. Oh, yeah, we got quite a ways to go yet. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. I have not played a lot of ATS here lately, so I'm just uh, all kind of out of sorts. And everything really need to... Uh, play just a little bit more, kind of knock the rust off and uh, keep my chops up, so to speak. There's a little rest area up here. I think I'm going to stop here.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Kind of still getting the rust knocked off a little bit, so I apologize for that. We will pick this up on Thursday and uh, finish this run up to Fresno. So if you guys like today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, I'm going to cut on out of here. Until the next one, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, follow the link down in the video description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, then be sure to check out my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link also down in the video description. And lastly, I upload three days a week, so be sure to check down below for my various content playlists for any videos you may have missed. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.